and we are in day five of our new era 30 day challenge. So today is all about upper body. We're gonna go with an AB format. So we're gonna have one move, second move, repeat, and then go to a full set of new exercises. It is going to create an amazing burn and you're gonna love it. So every exercise will be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, we'll have a preview box as well as a modification box just in case that move isn't quite right for you right now with how your body's feeling today. Remember, every day is a little bit different, and also remember to go heavy when you can as long as you can keep perfect form. We're all here to go at our own pace, to have fun. I will be using a pair of 10 pound, 15 pound, and then I have 30 pounds at the ready, just in case if I get gutsy, um, and can keep perfect form. So, I hope you guys are ready. Let's get warmed up. Rawr. All right guys, let's get started with that warm up. So let's have those arms out, and we're gonna make small arm circles. So really reach out with those fingertips, Getting those shoulders ready. And then go ahead and reverse that direction. Make sure you're keeping your core nice and strong. We're not hyperextending the spine here. And let's go for three, two, one. And go ahead and crisscross those arms. Really think about squeezing that back. We're doing this nice and controlled. Opening up that chest and squeezing those shoulder blades together. Let's go two more. Last one, and go ahead, a few shoulder rolls. And reverse that direction. Woo. Three, two, one, and shake it out. We're gonna go ahead, come down to the ground. Fingertips can be facing forward towards your feet, or if it's too much, just face them out to the side. Rolling the shoulder blades back and down, tuck the chin to the chest, pop it up, and come down. Think about squeezing those glutes. We are stretching out those biceps and warming up the shoulders as well. So this is really nice to stretch out the front side and to strengthen the back side. Nice job, guys. Let's go two more. Last one. And go ahead, plant that back on the ground. We're gonna lift those hips up and we're just gonna do some reaches side to side. And you can go in front of you, the side of you. You can make some nice big circles. I really like doing that for some nice mobility. Let's go two more. This might be totally different than you're used to. So thank you for keeping an open mind. <laughs> and let's roll up into a seated position and then flip it over. So we're going to come into tabletop. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Let's get the spine a little bit. So big inhale, pop the booty, bring those eyes up. Exhale, tuck the chin, the chest, round the back. Really press those fingertips, palms to the ground. Inhale, bring it through. Exhale, top. Inhale, through. Exhale, top. Let's go one more. Inhale, through. And exhale, top. All right, go ahead and do a little shaky shaky if you want to. We're gonna take that right hand right behind the right ear, connect it to your left elbow or at least close to it, and then open up. And you wanna think about not twisting from the hips but from the spine. So we're really getting a nice thoracic spine. Warm up, mobility. Let's go two more. Last one. And then go ahead and switch. Oh, I'm sliding. All the way up. One side might be a little bit tighter. That's all right, just listen to your body. Let's go three more on this side. Last two, and last one. All right, so from here, come into a plank position. We're gonna press back in a down dog and then bring it back in the plank. Again, really getting those shoulders, those arms, Nice and warm, with a bonus of stretching out those hamstrings. Keeping the feet and the hands exactly where they are. We're just pushing those hips up towards that ceiling. Let's go one more. Opening up the lats, stay here, really press. Bring your head through, getting those lats. You can add some side to side movement if you want. And then go ahead, shift forward, bend the knee slightly, jump or step. Up to the hands, big inhale, bring those arms up. And exhale, 
Come down, nice job. Shaky, shaky, let's do one more. So we're gonna take that right hand and we're gonna bring it all the way up. As soon as you can't go anymore, we're gonna turn the palm facing the other way. Actually, we're gonna do one more after this, sorry. <laughs> I just thought, hmm, I think our body needs a little bit more work up. All the way around, keeping the core strong. And let's go one more. Go ahead, switch, let's go with the other arm. Nice, big up. Turn that palm the other way. <sighs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job. All right, so one more. We are going to grab a medium-sized weight. I am going to avoid this cat coming by us. And we're going to bring it all the way around and then switch. Bring it around that head. This is Lincoln. Can you see him? Thank you, guys. Yeah. He's my little baby. He likes to give headbutts. So here we go. Oh, there it is. Hi, baby. <laughs> All the way around. Let's go two more. Last one. And done. All right, guys. Let us get started. All right, guys. 15 seconds. We are going to start with a pivot and press. Remember to stick with a modification if you need to. I'm going to be having 15 pound dumbbells with me on this movement. So pivot, just like in Friends. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So we're going to pivot, press, and switch. Pivot. So that just means you keep your foot on the ground and you turn on it. So kind of like a dance. <laughs> and press. You can do whatever kind of press you want to. I'm going to have my palms facing towards each other for this one. Keeping that core strong. Again, making sure we're not hyperextending the spine. And press. And press. Keep it going. Ooh, three, two, one. Okay. So next up is Zotman curls. So I'll stick with the 15s as long as I can. <laughs> we'll see. So roll the shoulder blades back and down, palms facing up. And we're gonna curl, turn down, nice and controlled, and back. Oh yeah, work your way back up and then switch. So curl, turn down, bring it back the same way, and switch. We've done stop my curls with me in the past. We had done them a little bit differently, so that's why it's ingrained in my brain. <laughs> and up. This is nice because we're getting the biceps, but we're also getting the forearms, top of the forearms. And up. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so pivot and press is next again because this is a Repeat, A, B, baby, A, B. All right, back to pivot and press. Shake it out. And three, two, one, let's go. So pivot and press, switch. Press, keeping the core strong, just as a reminder. balancing and strength moves to hold your breath, but you want to make sure 
Like bring oxygen to those muscles. And up. Make sure you can keep perfect form. Go heavy when you can, but again, perfect form is going to be um, more effective. So even if you need to drop the weight down. Okay, so those are done. We have Chaturanga, upward facing down, down dog. So this is from yoga. If you're doing the mod, you're just going to take the upper facing dog out on this one. So remember to bring it forward just a little bit, elbows in, sink down, transition, upward facing dog, and down dog. Bring it forward. Down, upward facing dog. Curl the toes. Down dog. Forward. Dude, yoga's hard. <laughs> People think, ah, oh, yoga. It's too easy. It's not. It's not easy. Upward. And down. Alright. I was always getting my triceps so much. All right, so we have alternating heavy hammer curls because we just did a lot of triceps. So go as heavy as you can as long as, good. again, you can keep perfect form. So palms are facing towards each other. Squeeze. Really focusing on the squeeze. If you don't have heavy enough weight available to you, but you know you can go a little bit more, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a negative. So you're gonna slowly come down. So what that does is it adds more time under tension, which is more stress on the muscle. So it's just another way to challenge yourself. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so chaturanga, upward facing down, down dog. Oh, dog. <laughs> down dog. Ooh, remember to place the weight down safely. Nice flat back when you do that. And remember for this chaturanga, it's not, you want to make sure you lean forward a little bit and then come down. Upward. And down. Bring it forward. It's pretty much a tricep push up. And just like in our warm up, really bring that head through those arms in that down dog. So we really get those lats. <sighs> up. A few more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Triceps. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Back to hammer curls. Alternating heavy hammer curls. Honestly, with what we just did, this 15 feels super heavy. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick with these, pick them up safely, roll the shoulder blades back and down. Curl. These A, B repeating workouts are no joke. They are challenging. Remember not to swing the weight. You want to have it nice and controlled. Oh, we're strong. We're doing great. <laughs> we're doing so good. We only have 10 seconds. Finish it out, guys. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so row and wide row. If you're doing that mod, that just is um, doing them separately. So one at a time for those arms. Ah, my upper body is burning. <laughs> oh, oh, my head is okay. Let's go. So close, wide. Oh gosh, I just did the modification. <sighs> Back is nice and flat. Neck is neutral, and you're making sure your 
uh, squeezing and engaging that core. Row back towards the hips. When you do that narrow one, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Uh, 10 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so next up is chest press. Now for this one, I highly recommend if you have a bench to use it because you'll get way more range of motion, which is great, but some of us don't have a bench. So that's okay. We're just gonna do them with what we have. Get your arms when they come down at about 45 degrees. We don't want them at 90. Really think about squeezing that chest. This movement is so easy for your arms to just take over. You want to think about squeezing with that chest together. Even if you need to drop the weight to get that mind-muscle connection, it's so worth it. Squeeze. The modification, I have the palms facing each other. Because if you have a shoulder impingement, maybe that movement isn't quite, this one isn't quite for you at this angle. Whew. Up, squeezing. Okay, so we are back to those rows. Rows and rows. Rows and rows and chest. <laughs> okay, so back and chest, baby. Let's get that back. Okay, so row. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Because they're doing so good. Already over halfway with our workout. If your lower back starts to jump in, I want you to reset at the top. Come up, shake it out. Hinge from the hips, bend the knees slightly. Make sure you're engaging that core. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so chest press again. Oh, it is really pretty outside. <laughs> okay, get ready guys. Nice 45 degree with those arms. Palms up. Squeeze those chest muscles. Again, it's much better if you have a bench, but we don't want to not do this move all together because we still get a, a benefit from it. Keep going, guys. Inhale down, exhale, woo. <laughs> a woo. Almost there. I have no idea, actually. I can't even see the timer, but you can. Let me know. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, next up, single arm rear delt fly. Okay, so if you want a modification, it's using just body weight, and you're thinking about the squeeze. So you want to think about the back of that shoulder. That is what bring, is bringing that dumbbell up. Squeeze. And squeeze and up. Keep going. Up. Nice job, guys. Making sure that core is nice and strong. Up. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and done. Okay, so diamond push-ups are next. These are hard, <laughs> okay? These are no joke. So if you need to stick with regular push-ups, you can go ahead. Put that there. Hands are like this. Okay. Hopefully I didn't offend anyone with that symbol. I don't know. <laughs> you never know these days. Keep those elbows in next to the body. Really getting that chest 
with those triceps. Rewind it as you need. Here's spider to uh, scorpion. Alright, if you have the mod, you're just sticking with a three legged dog. Scorpion, you're bringing it over, stacking the hips. Spider up. Really pressing the palms, fingertips on the ground. If you're finding that body weight is more challenging to you, you're not alone. It's super challenging, and that's why I like bringing it in because we have this beautiful, amazing, strong body. So it's like we should be able to move it in all the ways. Like that. You can a little bit loopy. <laughs> okay, so reverse table reach to table. One more time. Whew. Okay, so up, over. Time you might be able to go 
go a little bit faster. Getting the shoulders here, triceps. Getting that back and chest. Ooh, the thunder. <laughs> That's exciting. That'd be so cool if there was lightning in the background. And done. Okay, guys, last one. Yes. Good job for keeping an open mind. You know, trying something new. This isn't your typical upper body strength workout that you'd find. But this is my type that I do, so I want to make sure to share the goods with you guys. Share the things that I believe in for our bodies. Stacking the hips. Up, stack. Oh, Mr. Link is coming. Up, stack, finish it up, guys. this workout go for it please do like the video before you go comment a unicorn emoji because it's my favorite and also subscribe if you haven't already what do you think Lincoln he thinks it's a great idea okay let's go ahead and we're gonna stretch <laughs> hey baby all right guys so let's go ahead we're gonna come in a tabletop position hands under the shoulders knees under the hips let's take those hands forward and then we're going to bring our chest and head down to the ground. Forehead, chin, whatever it is for you today. Opening up those shoulders and those lats. I knew it. I'm like, I bet you'd be right there. Hello. Goodbye. Whew. And then go ahead and we're going to walk it back. Hands right under the shoulders. Let's um, take our elbows down to the ground. Clasp those hands, and then bring in the back of the head. From here, you're gonna push your hips back as you dig those elbows in the ground. This is getting those triceps and those shoulders. And, <laughs> hope you didn't hear my tummy. And then go ahead. Bring it forward and walk it up. Then let's go ahead and we're going to place our hands like this and then lean back. So we're getting those wrists and those forearms. If that's too intense, you can always do one at a time. Just make sure you don't grab the fingertips, you grab the palm meat of the hand. Breathe. And let's go ahead gently, very gently, shake it out. And you can grab um, now the other side, so the palm facing down, or you can stick with me. Make sure those arms aren't billowing out like this, nice and straight as you can. And lean back, getting the top of the forearms this time in the wrist. And go ahead and shake it out. Now, let's find a wall or a tree, uh, wherever you are, and we are going to use the edge of it. Your palm is gonna be slightly up from your shoulder. From here, you're gonna press into that wall and then turn to the opposite direction. So you'll feel that opening in your shoulder as well as your bicep. Breathe. This is a stretch I recommend you do every day because we're all slouching. We all are, I know it. Go ahead, shake it out. Other side, remember slightly above the shoulder, press into it and then turn. Breathe. Be kind of intense. And then go ahead and shake it out. Let's come down 
into crisscross applesauce from here. And we're going to take our hands onto the knees. And then we're going to do a variation of cat cow. So big inhale, bring the chest through. Exhale, tuck the chin, the chest around the back. Inhale, bring it through. Exhale, tuck. One more inhale through. And exhale, tuck. Nice job, shake it out. Let's go ahead and relax our neck entirely. We're gonna take that right hand, bring it to the left side of you, and we're gonna pull. So make sure you're relaxing your neck entirely. And then go ahead, slowly release just a little bit, and then point your chin towards your knee and pull down that way. So now you should feel it more up here and then that. Back suitable. And go ahead and slowly bring it back from your side to side, very gently. Let's get the other side then. We're starting out to the, to the side instead of at an angle. And then go ahead, slowly, very gently release a little bit and point your chin towards that knee. And go ahead, slowly release, very, very gently, a few side to sides, a few up downs. And from here, you can go ahead and lay down if you want to, or palms facing up, nice tall spine. We're gonna head into our guided mini meditation, so it'll only take a minute. Go ahead and close those eyes if you feel good about that, if you feel okay with that. Big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. Go ahead with whatever breath you want to. Right now, we are going to focus on those arms today. So if you want to just have your hands on your arms, bringing some awareness to them. These arms that helped us push through this workout, that allow us to hug our friends, our family, our loved ones, our pets. Arms that maybe when we look in the mirror, we like to pick apart and wish they were different. But this whole time, they have been here for us to allow us to do the things that we love to do and to function in this world. Because sometimes only when we get hurt is when we really take notice and gratitude for the functioning of this body. When really sending a little bit of gratitude to it every single day helps so much for us to realize how blessed we are to have this beautiful body, this strong body, these strong arms. So go ahead, big inhale, send a little bit of gratitude to your arms if you feel like that feels right for you. And exhale, any negative thoughts or feelings you might have about them. One more big inhale of gratitude. And exhale. Go ahead, slowly open those eyes. Clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale, push, 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 push. We are done for today, yay! We did it, you guys did it. We completed day five of our new era 30 day challenge. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me. Hopefully your upper body is really feeling it, feeling pumped. It's gonna be hard to put a jacket on later. Whatever it is, thank you again so much. And if you could, before you go, please do like the video. 
subscribe if you haven't already and also comments if you want to put just a unicorn emoji that's awesome i love that or if you want to write how it went for you let me know i love to hear it but all of those things really help on my channel and i appreciate it so much so um tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow is day six and we're having some lower body strength so that makes sense otherwise we would be kind of funny i'm sure you're feeling a little bit sore already from our challenge which is exciting but yeah that's what we're doing it's gonna be really awesome and rather than that if you guys want to support my channel i do have a link down in the description with purple hearts next to it anything and everything is greatly greatly appreciated thank you again for choosing me as your trainer and i will see you tomorrow all right